Are you unsure if your child is ready to take over your farm? Or are you the junior partner looking for ways to show your readiness? In our conversations with farm families, we're coming across some things that we really want to share with you. There's going to be a relationship shift, and I'll get into some information about that. Uh, I'm going to challenge you to assess where you're at and remind you to take it slow. Over all three of those things, communication rises to the top as a really important thing to do. I have had many opportunities to sit down with families and one of the things that I am encountering is times I've been introduced to the farming child who is 52 and he's still called the boy. Here, I'd like you to meet the boy. I think that something that would be a challenge to all farms is to recognize that this relationship shift from a family, a parental child relationship to a business partnership is not a small shift. And maybe you could consider calling each other by different names. This is my business partner as opposed to this is the boy or the girl. This is my business partner as opposed to this is my mom or this is the old man. That significance, I think, shifts expectations and also really can help people to get a better handle on um, what's expected of them and for them to live up to it. So as part of that relationship shift together with communication, I really want to draw attention to the fact that the senior partners know a million little details about your farm operation. So how are you choosing to share that? If you weren't there, how could your family manage? And so not to be negative, but think about your opportunities to pass those things on. There's lots of different ways that can be done, but I really challenge the younger, the junior partner, to channel your inner three-year-old. Ask why. Why do you do it that way? Why is this an important time for this particular task? That curiosity will really fill in your knowledge and make you more prepared for actually taking the lead of the operation. One family I know dealt with it in this way. Um, the uh, junior partner works off farm and so it was really tricky for him because he wasn't able to be part of the day-to-day -day operations of the farm. So their solution was he calls his dad when he's getting ready for work every day and uh, just has a chat about what's going on in the farm. His dad shares with him kind of what the top priorities are, what the tasks are. And so he as a junior partner is familiar with, with the goings on and can maybe support and anticipate when he gets home from work. Uh, by doing that on a regular basis, it just, it requires less mind reading. People just aren't gonna guess what's happening. They aren't gonna guess what's going on. Even if you've grown up on a farm, there's lots of stuff that you've missed. So this can be a really good habit. Just ongoing conversations, passing information. So the second thing that I, want to mention for the junior partner and preparedness for coming into the farm is actually just a self-reflection and an assessment. So if you as a junior partner think about all of the tasks on the farm, the various roles, so generally there's operations, there's finance, there's uh, marketing, all of those tasks, think about them and your ability to actually lead those and actually have those uh, taken care of on a daily basis. Do you have it under control, each of those tasks? Think about them individually. Uh, or do you need maybe some help with it? Or are you basically starting from scratch? When you have a bit of an assessment and then you make it a point of what you need training on, that can be really powerful because you circle back a year from now. Have you made progress? Um, are there things that you really still need to work on? It can give you some uh, benchmarks to work with and places to aim. Plus, I really want you to think about the best place to get that training because first, sometimes there's things that you could be on farm, uh, but there's also things where an off farm source might be really helpful. I often say that the senior partner, uh, it's not uncommon that they earned their commerce degree by surviving the 80s. And so they have a really good intuition and a gut feel about making decisions for buying, selling and production, but they'll be darned if they can teach it. Maybe that's something that you need to go off farm and get some other resources to bring you up to speed on some farm management decision making. So if I want to just pack everything together, I want you to uh, first think about the relationship shift that happens when a junior partner joins the senior partner on the farm. Call them partners. Recognize this as a shift from family to business and act like it. Uh, think about communication. Are you doing it on purpose? Are you doing it regularly? Are you doing it in a constructive way? Ask why. 
assess where you're at. Be real, be real with yourself. There's things that you're not going to be good at. There's things that you need to learn. Identify them and go after them. And last but not least, cut yourself some slack in terms of time. This will take time. And really, you have time. But start today because that time goes quickly. And we just don't know what tomorrow holds. And I just want you to take that opportunity and run with it. So subscribe. This is something that we have lots of messages coming up. We want to share with you. We want to put some information in your hands so you can go and do something about this. And please comment because we want to continue to provide some more information. And if we don't know the answer, we'll find someone who does and get it into your hands. Thanks.